I hadn't planned on making another business update video so quickly after that last one. But lots happened this past week. As you can tell, I'm battling a pretty irritating case of uh, viral pink eye here. So I'm gonna have my sunglasses on for this video. I, uh, it's currently Monday. I am about four days behind on work due to the events of uh, last week. What, uh, what happened, as I mentioned in one of my videos, my, uh, my son had con contracted a small sinus infection and my wife had contracted a small sinus infection as well. Uh, at the time I was doing great, I felt fine, so I didn't think there was any, uh, I didn't think there was any cause for alarm. <clears throat> well, come to find out, Tuesday we, uh, wow, look at that scalp job, what the heck are they doing? Anyway, t um, Tuesday, uh, we, Tuesday afternoon she, uh, she took my son to the, uh, pediatrician because he was, again, because he was, uh, you know, he had a slight fever and he was coughing a little bit and everything and so they um they uh he his fever wasn't that bad but it was you know a little bit it was a little bit high about a hundred so it wasn't that bad but they had told us you know basically um if it gets over 103 go to the er right away and um they swabbed they swabbed him for um flu and covid and other things and just checked him out for respiratory illnesses and you know they said oh we'll have results tomorrow and we'll let you know so Tuesday evening was fine except I was up almost the whole night with him um, because she needed rest and I uh, I was feeling fine at the time I didn't have any let me make sure yeah okay I didn't have any uh I didn't have any symptoms of anything. I, I felt great. Well, um, that morning I started to have a, uh, after being up all night with him, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, I was basically, I started having like a sore throat and some, you know, minor symptoms of that nature. They, uh, the pediatrician called us back at like three, two, or I think it's one thirty, about one or two o'clock. And uh, they told us, hey, you need to get to the ER right away. Your son is uh, positive for a very dangerous uh, bacterial infection. <clears throat> this bacteria doesn't affect adults, really. It's, it's virtually harmless in adults, and it's in adults a lot. But for infants, or for children under five, it's basically, it can be deadly. It can lead to, like, meningitis and some other, really, pneumonia and other serious health issues. So we, we freaked out a little bit and rushed him to the ER and we got him, we got him checked out and everything. And they did a great job of, you know, getting him on some antibiotics to uh, clear that infection, that bacteria. Fortunately, he didn't have pneumonia and he didn't have meningitis, which was a huge, huge, uh, <clears throat> huge um, weight off our chest. But what it meant was I wasn't able to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then in the hospital, I started to come down with uh, some congestion and some coughing, and pink, I got pink eye in one eye somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, it's a viral pink eye, unfortunately, so there's nothing there's nothing they can do for me as far as as far as care. But I. Um, I um, started to get ill there, and my wife got ill. She had been ill for a few days, and so it's just this big snowball effect, and it's, what I'm seeing is, you know, this is one of the things about working solo as a solo business owner. There's, you know, you don't have anybody to do the work other than you, so if you're sick or you have somewhere you have to be that you can't fulfill your obligations, you're you know, you're, the work doesn't get done. So it's not to say I don't have awesome clients because all of my clients were, you know, totally understanding and everything is cool. You know, I'm not losing any jobs long term on it, but I have lost four days of work. And, you know, 
or possibly more, depending on how I'm feeling the rest of today. I'm, I'm currently going out to my uh, little subdivision to uh, pull weeds and check the flower beds and everything at, at one property. I'm, uh, there, there's six properties that I have out here, but I'm only going to do one because I'm, I'm still not feeling terribly great. And uh, it's, I guess it's just a symptom of running without sleep and without a lot of sleep for as long as I've been doing it. It finally caught up to me. It's caught up to my family quite a bit. So that's something to consider, you know, if you're going into business for yourself. It's kind of a dice roll again if you're going for, if you have employees, you're going to deal with issues that a solo person wouldn't deal with, you know, payroll and tax issues and, you know, red tape and, you know, people, other personalities and people's issues that you got to manage. But if you're, if you're solo, you know, it, sometimes it looks really great and when it's going great it's great believe me it is really awesome but when it's not great as in the last couple of days when it's not great it's it it sucks it's really it's really terrible you you know you wonder sometimes you wonder am I ever going to get back to work again you know am I ever going to feel right again am I ever going to get rid of this infection and that's another thing we also we also tested for the, uh, we also tested positive for the uh, common cold, two different strains of the common cold. So how we got two common cold strains and the HI, HIV bacteria, which is what it was called, I, I don't freaking know. You, you, I have no idea how we got any of this. Only thing I can think of is grocery store visits. We're gonna have to be more, definitely more careful moving forward with him. You know, we've been kind of lax with him, but we're going to have to crack that down really, really good from now on. So, yeah, it's uh, just something I wanted to talk about today. I don't know how many videos I'll be making this week because I don't know how many days I'll be working in all honesty. I don't know. I've got, I think I've got one uh, Yard of the Week video pre-recorded. I'll probably post that on Wednesday. And depending on how next week goes, we may not have any may not have any going next week. I don't know. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Oh, man. I'm feeling better than I was uh, Friday and Saturday and definitely Thursday. Um, <clears throat> I still kind of feel like I got hit by a train, but that's what happens when you're, when you're basically able to get about three to four hours of sleep a day, a night, you know just got to let my, uh, just got to get healed up. It's going a lot slower than it typically has for me. Typically I'm back up and running in a day or two, but that's when I was, that's back when I was able to get eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. Those days are, I think those days are done. At least those days are done for the next couple of months till he's, till he's a little older. So anyway, I am, uh, here at my first, uh, or maybe only job for the week. We'll see. See what we can do here. <clears throat> uh, catch you next time.